Welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Don Keenan. Let's get on with it. This episode is going to be about the 12th series of Doctor Who. Now it's finished, I want to give my view on it. And before I do, I want to talk about some of the tweets that I've been reading uh, about people who don't like Doctor Who. If you want to skip straight to my talk about Doctor Who, timestamp will be on the screen. Right, so Twitter. Twitch is, I use it a lot, I use it fair dues, it's good, but there are some nasty, nasty trolls out there. When I was on there the other day, I didn't get these tweets because uh, by the time I went back to screen capture, I couldn't find it, but BBC put, or to put a picture of the master, the Cyberman, and they said, put a caption to it. But when I was reading the comments, it was all hate, you know, Doctor Who should F this and F Doctor Who, BBC blah 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 and I think what the heck is going on? Um, but before I carry on I want to say that I've got no problem with Doctor Who, I love Doctor Who, it's fantastic. From when I was little to now, Tom Baker is my Doctor Who, I love this new Doctor Who, she's brilliant, she's fantastic, Jada Whittaker, brilliant. But let's get on with this, shall we? Talk about more of that later. So I did screen capture a few, a few tweets. This one is, sorry but I can't stand Doctor Who since they put a woman in the role. The Doctor will always be a man. I have watched episodes and they are terrible. The very disappointing. If this is what the BBC are bringing out, I can't, I can see why people don't want to pay the TV license. Ugh, it's like, well, so if, if you don't like it, don't watch it. You know? Yeah, you're allowed to have an opinion, I'm allowed to have my opinion, I'm allowed my opinion on your opinions, you know, just to where the world is. And there's no one, God, 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 the BBC have ruined Doctor Who. I just don't see why, why people are actually... <laughs> anyway, I'll carry on. So we've got another one. I have the right to my opinion and to express that opinion publicly if I choose to do so. Yes, it's a free world, so I'm telling the BBC that they have lost an anti-podium Doctor Who view of 55 year duration. Well, well, that happens, doesn't it? Hope you find something else to watch. Stop paying and opt out. All BBC programmes are blah blah. Quinch file, spring, summer, autumn, winter watch. One show, every drama, Doctor Who. There you go. Uh, what else? No one. From the Red Dwarf to Monty Python and Doctor Who, all my favourite things came from BBC. Along with the BBC positivity, <laughs> that's what I like to see. Positive. I mean, there's, there's, there's so many I've read, so many I can't talk about on it because of the language. But if you don't like a program, why not watch something else? I mean, if you want to publicly say how bad it is, write to the BBC, email the BBC. Don't just spread your dirty laundry over the Twitter, you know. Yeah, you know, uh, there's programs I don't watch, but I don't go bloody tweeting and slacking it off. You know what I mean? Because, because at the end of the day, people watch different programs. You know, not everyone likes Doctor Who, not everyone likes Emmerdale, not everyone likes EastEnders, not everyone likes most programs. So, but you don't see a lot of people trolling and you know, you know, just really get a life, sort your own life out. You know what I mean? There's a few YouTubers that I, I I watch and follow. Amy McLean, I mean, she, every episode, end of every episode, she does like a, a few minutes talk about the episode, and you know, it's fantastic, and she's done a damn good job, and I respect her, and I, and I agree with what she's saying. I mean, okay, it's not perfect, but it's damn good, you know what I mean? You know, so yeah, I'll link it to a Doctor Who in the description below. Um, there's no one as well, there's quite a few positive Doctor Who YouTube, you know, YouTubers, you know. <sighs> anyway, that's my little rant over with. <laughs> Let's get on to what I was talking about. So, Series 12 started a new year. I can't believe it's been 10 weeks already, wow. But yeah, it's, um, it's progressed really well. Um, Chris Chibnall, fantastic. 
can't fault him one bit. You know, you know, no one's perfect. Of course, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to have the character flaws. We're going to have this and the other. But that's just the way TV is. TV is supposed to be not really supposed to be exaggerated. You know, you don't watch EastEnders. And everyone sits sits down all day watching TV. You know, they're actually making little stories out. I mean, you know, this is. If he stands as real life, don't want to watch it because you know why. You need to make it entertaining. You need to make it a kind of thing. And films and TV to me are better when it's far fetched because it's not real. It's it picks from reality. You know what I mean? So I, you know, no problem with any TV programs. If I don't like it, I just don't watch it. I don't go moaning about it. Maybe I'm just ranting against it after. So yeah, so it's. Um, Started off fantastic, um, dipped a bit in the middle, but the last two episodes made up for it fantastically. That's one thing I noticed about BBC, the first two episodes, the last two episodes, the main episodes, in between it's like a filler, and it, anything could happen, good or bad, you know. But the way they introduced, you know, the master back into it was fantastic, and when in the end, last two episodes, or well, last episode, brilliant, fantastic, you know, just as I imagine the master to be this bit of a loopy idiot, you know, <laughs> when they're trying to take over the world. But the Cybermen, the regenerated Cybermen, wow, you know, brilliant, brilliant. Um, there's lots. I mean, I don't think the Companions got a lot of their time. I mean, you got to know a little bit about more about them, but not a lot. So they seem like they were just there to serve purpose, which is good enough, because they did, you know. But the question is now, um, spoilers of course, is um, do they know the Doctor's still alive? Do they know that the, the, they thought the Doctor might have died when they blew up the ship? You know, I don't know. And the twist in the story, the Doctor, the Doctor Who, the Doctor isn't who she thought she was. You know, she's got a past that she didn't know about, it's all blanked off, it's all been erased, it's all been blocked or something like that. And um, I suppose the 30th series would be her trying to get more details about her and who she really is, you know. So yeah, it is loopy. It's very loopy. I mean going back to the past few series where you didn't where the doctor didn't know who the doctor knew who he was but didn't when is he here of course didn't um wouldn't give his name. But looking now it's like did he know that it was really didn't know that it was really the child that was found and that sort of time lords came from. You know, it's it's amazing, it's, it's, it's loopy, isn't it? But I love that kind of twist in the story. It's like, wow, you know, what a cliffhanger. We've got to wait, have we got to wait till Christmas now for the next one? The Daleks and stuff, you know, it's like, well, you know. It's, it's just mind blowing. I loved it. I loved the series. I loved the last series. I loved the series before that. I love every series, you know. This is 2005, and in the old ones, I said Tom Baker was a doctor who I grew up with, and K9, you know. That always, it always been my uh, doctor who was K9 and Tom Baker. But these, I just I think it's great, fantastic. Uh, yeah, the few episodes that aren't exactly brilliant, but they've all got meaning to it. So, yeah, so to all the people who want to hate and say, oh no, it's rubbish and stuff, you know, go and pass someone out. Go on Twitter. Go on Twitter. Go on. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's my quick chat about Doctor Who Series 12, which I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs>